What is happening? Welcome to another Pitcher Video Breakdown. My name is Nick Pollock of PitcherList.com, and thank you all so much for leaving your comments about the guys you want me to focus on inside these videos. So I'm going to be doing Bryce Miller a little bit. I'm going to be doing some other guys. Keep mentioning them in the comments. Uh, and I'm going to do Logan Gilbert today. I've actually gotten some stuff about Logan Gilbert. Figured uh, now is a good time to do it. He has this amazing start of eight innings, 200 runs against the Athletics, and I think he's doing some new things this year. And I want to show you two different innings. I want to show you the fourth, and I want to show you the fifth, because I feel like those are two different aspects of, of Logan Gilbert. Okay, so this is actually the last pitch to end the third, though. Just to give a little sneak preview, also because we have dogs coming. Yeah, I know. But that's the biggest difference. If you want to know the biggest change, if you want to know the biggest change of Logan Gilbert in 2023... It is this pitch. That is a splitter in a two-strike count. His put-away rate on that splitter is way above average. And it has allowed Gilbert to become a 30% strikeout guy, which is elite. I love that new splitter from Logan Gilbert. So, yeah, we got dogs. I told you we are going to get dogs. <laughs> so, that's a fastball upstairs at 96. The, the fastball from Logan Gilbert is his bread and butter. It is... I think his best pitch, it has been since he's come up, and even, it was really interesting in his first season, it actually didn't grade well as far as pitch value goes, because P-Val is about results, and just, you know, he, Logan Gilbert had to rely so heavily on it, that the results weren't good, but that's just because the secondaries were so far behind that he had to overuse it, batters were able to sit on that and easily identify the secondaries. However, now that Logan Gilbert has better secondary offerings, the fastball can do exactly what it's supposed to do, which is pound the top of the zone at 96 and get your first pitch strikes. So setting... Oh, man, that's beautiful. So throwing that high heater allows him to get free real estate here on this curveball. Even though it's a swing, he's not going to do anything with it as long as Gilbert executes. It's beautiful down in the zone. Look at that. And now what do you see? Two strikes. What do you expect? It's a splitter. You got him. It's the difference maker. Oh, you love it. Free real estate, curveball in the zone. Oh, there's a hang change up. I mean, that's a splitter. Hanging up there, right? Middle of the zone. You, you don't want that. All splitters that Gilbert throws should be down here. Not this. That should be down here. He's way out in front, which means it was the right pitch call. It just need to be lower. And because it was up, he's way out in front. He's able to, to make contact on it because he's so out in front. It's a foul ball, right? So because he's so out in front, you can probably throw it again. Just throw a better one. Or if you want, you can kind of mess with him a bit and you can throw it upstairs. It's up to you. Fastball. Fastball away, which is interesting. You're getting the whiff on that one. But because it was such a different speed, uh, that's why you got the strikeout from Gilbert. So easy. Six pitches, two strikeouts, immaculate inning. Fastball down the middle. Drop it. I want an immaculate inning. Oh, no immaculate inning. <laughs> seven innings, seven pitches, though. Seven pitches, three outs is pretty dang good for Logan Gilbert, including two strikeouts. Uh, drop it next time. No, uh, he just pounded a fastball in. There it is. That's like... The quick of of Logan Gilbert, right? I mean, it's against the Athletics, sure, but the skills he just showcased, those are legit. That would have worked against the Athletics or anybody else. Here's the next inning. So he tries to throw a, a slider for a first pitch strike. That doesn't work. He throws another one. I love this. I, I, I really enjoy watching pitchers make a bad pitch and then throw the same one again and execute it. Right, and get a good result. Look at this. He just got an out. Logan Gilbert threw a bad slider and then threw a better one and got the the best result, right? That's so satisfying. Oh, I love it so much. Nah, he's trying to get free real estate there. He does not get it. There's 96 up. Oof. And that does tell, tell you, Jace Peterson's looking for a fastball. He wanted that one up. Couldn't do it. And it's kind of like, you got the thing you want and you still couldn't handle it. Just throw strikes at this point with Gilbert with anything and you'll get them, right? So throw a slider in there. You should probably get something good. 
<laughs> like, this is how bad Jace Peterson is right now, right? He's swinging at this 90 mile per hour slider upstairs. You could say even it's like a cutter. <laughs> and he's just so, like, you do whatever you want. But I would say throw it in the zone here. Like, if it's a splitter, don't throw it in the zone. I mean, throw a curveball down and it works. Probably not the splitter, because I feel like the splitter he'd spit on. Yeah. I mean, that was a really bad one. Yeah, that's too high. See, these are too out of the zone. The thing is, this is a 3-2 count in a situation where Jace is so beat. He's so messed up and beat, you're just not executing. Yeah, there you go. Fine. He threw a slider in the zone, right? And it bounced out. That is not a good 3-2 pitch in normal situations. In that one where Jace is just like, I don't know what's happening. <laughs> I can't hit the fastball up. I can't hit the slider out of the zone that I'm just still going to swing at. Like, he's not going to be on something in this at-bat. So as long as you throw a strike with something like this, you're going to get the easy out, right? <laughs> that was a funny at-bat. That's a beautiful first pitch slider. Well, you know you get an out. Like... This is what I've always dreamed of from Logan Gilbert, is you have a slider, I mean, you can even say that's a cutter, really, um, at 90 miles per hour, that you throw in the zone to get strikes and outs. It does not need to be the four-seamer. It needs to be that. But he's always missed the secondary that gets whiffs, and that is now the splitter, as we saw earlier on in this video. So that allows the four-seamer to just overwhelm at times. You saw it against Jace Peterson, you saw it... Uh, earlier in uh, the fourth inning. That was, is what makes Logan Gilbert really, really good right now. In a rarity of a guy who can go six plus innings consistently while not holding a 20% strikeout rate, actually 25 to 30% now. Logan Gilbert is forming into a legitimate Cy Young candidate in front of us. The, the ERA hasn't actually come together. Very unlucky. I wouldn't be shocked if Logan Gilbert's a sub-3 ERA guy the rest of the year. I really, really like what he's doing. It's just another start. I know this was against the Athletics. So some people are going to judge him for that. I'm not. I think Logan Gilbert, you're you're good, man. This is this is the pitcher that the Mariners have been kind of waiting for the past couple of years. He's at his peak, and I think it might even plateau. So that's Logan Gilbert. I'm excited for what's ahead. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any of these. I do these five times a week. I actually had two yesterday to showcase Yohan Aviedo's Immaculate Inning, so don't don't miss that. That's always a fun event. Um, but that is it for today. Make sure you leave a comment on who you want to watch next in these videos. But my name is Nick Pollock, and may your babbits be low, and your strikeouts high.